everyone this is a breaking news this is it vanguard here is reporting a lot of the media uh, houses are reporting this uh, that ajero the nlc president has been arrested arrested by dss on his way you know he was traveling out of the country to uk for an official assignment and then uh, he was arrested let me read what Vanguard has here. They say Vanguard gathered that he was arrested this morning at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja. Ajero was about to board the flight to the United Kingdom, UK, for an official assignment when DSS picked him up. Although details of the arrest and the reasons are still sketchy, sources said that he had been handed over to the National Intelligence Agency. According to sources, Ajero was billed to attend the Conference of Trade Union Congress, TUC, in the UK. Uh, holding today. Before I even continue, let me just stop here and say that I'm not surprised if you watch a, a good number of my videos where I've talked about this thing before. It seems as if Tinibu is going after the labor union. What he wants to do, he wants everything that he can do to take out Ajero and then be able to install his own stooge and his stooge will be able to do everything that they want to do. Because at this moment there is state capture, everything is captured. Judiciary has been captured, National Assembly has been captured, media has been captured, you know, the uh, what, what you can see, uh, a security agencies too have been captured. The one that is out there is the UNO. Student UNO has been captured. To an extent, NLC is still, you know, fighting. But even though they are not fighting as much as the citizens, you know, want them to fight, they are still doing something anyway. And so what he wants to have now is absolute total capture. You see what happened with the case of the IG of police that is supposed to be retired. They're saying now they're going to give him, I think they've already even done that, uh, a, a three-year, you know, extension. Uh, and then what happens? He's supposed to retire, and we've seen the IG of police also come out to say that, oh, you know, he owes uh, Tinibu everything. Tinibu made him something, something, did something for him that he can never forget. And you, you can imagine what that portends, you know, to the country. I, For me, I, I don't blame anybody. I blame that NLC. NLC has not done what they're supposed to do. Apologies for the shakiness. I'm on a car and I trust Nigerian roads. They are bad. This is Abuja, but they will tell you that Wiki is working. Wiki is working in places where roads are already good, and all it does, scrape it and rescrape it and put it there. Put uh, bridges over places you really don't need bridges meanwhile roads around abuja they are extremely uh, spoiled but let me go back to what what i was discussing to say that it, the fact is that nlc i truly blame nlc nlc has not put itself together the way it should nlc has power but unfortunately i don't know what has happened whether it's about skeletons in the cupboard whether it's about moral justification not to speak up. i just don't know nlc has not done the way that it, the things that it's supposed to do and also the professional bodies the professional bodies but it's really, really, you know, have failed, have, have failed Nigerians in terms of standing up. All they do is to always stand up for little things that affect them rather than them standing up, you know, for good governance. I'll go back to Vanguard yeah, again. And it says NLC threatens shoulder. Let them do that shoulder. I, I support that shoulder. We must get to a place where things work for this country. People become that we must endure some discomfort to be able to get a uh, good thing. Nothing good ever comes easy. And let's say we start something and people start saying, eh, there are there are there are premature babies in incubator. I I I, I feel that. I feel that you understand. But when these grids go down on their own, when government fail to provide and they decrease, nobody complains. So that's where I see the hypocrisy. If you're going to complain, for example, when the last time NSC did something, they shut down the national group. Everybody was abusing. Hey, how can you do that? How can... But the national, it says after that, uh, I think the national grid has collapsed. I've shut down like two or three times. But people will say anything. That's the thing I don't understand about Nigeria. You are ready to endure the bad governance that come from that that uh, the, the things that come from the bad governance. But when people are fighting to correct it, you will not endure it. The NLC has confirmed that security operatives abducted this president because this is real abduction. Joe Ajero has forcefully whisked him away without a warrant. Following the arrest, the NLC alerted all his affiliates, state uh, councils, and Nigerian workers, urging them to remain vigilant and on high alert. The NLC, in a statement by its head media slash information, Bensi Upa, described the arrest as an unmista unmistakable demonstration of the height of lawless lawlessness being perpetuated by the nigerian government and its agencies in their bid to silence every voice of dissent and opposition in the country as the economic policies of the country continue to afflict the people with monumental suffering and hardship they want to silence everybody they want to be sure that they get in a place where people will not be able to stand up people will not be able to speak that's what tinibu's illegitimate government 
wants to do. Summons terrorism felony allegation. Record that Ajero has been the, in, on the radar of security agents recently. The NLC president had Thursday, August 20, honored an invitation by the intelligence responsive IRT arm of the police uh, force. The, the, this followed the uh, police summons on August 19, asking him to appear on the next day and threatening him with arrest should he fail to comply. The Ajero, true human rights activist Femi Falana San, wrote to the Inspector General of Police, IIGP, explaining why he could not honor the uh, summons on the same day. He, however, informed the IGP that he would come on August 29 to respond to the alleged criminal conspiracy, terrorism financing, treasonable, treasonable felony, subversion, and survival crime. True to his promise, Ajero, alongside Falana, Maxwell Opara, Deji Adeyonju, among other lawyers and labor leaders, went to the first headquarters to honor police summons. Again, less than 24 hours later, and I remember doing videos on all of these things. You'll find the, the other links to the videos I've done on this matter. Again, less than 24 hours later, the police summoned the NLC president and the general secretary, Ima Ogwaja, to appear at police headquarters on September 5th. This time around, the NLC president and the general secretary are to answer questions over alleged criminal intimidation, conduct likely, uh, co conduct likely to cause a breach of a public peace and malicious damage to properties. They are being invited by the first intelligence department, FID, of the Nigerian Police Force, first headquarters. The police summons is dated August 8, 28, 2024, entitled Investigation Activities Invitation Letter. The fact that the police, for me, the police are always unfortunate. They are the ones that are being used for everybody. They don't, instead of maintaining law and order, which is for their, their constitutional duty, they sit down and all they're thinking about doing is, is uh, regime protection. And then that's why when things happen to them, citizens don't feel any pity for them because the police allows itself to be used again and again and again. It was signed by the Commissioner of Police Operations, Ibito Yerufus Alajidi, on behalf of the Deputy Inspector General of Police, DIG, First Intelligence Department, FID. The letter read, in furtherance of investigation into the alleged case of criminal intimidation, conduct likely to cause breach of public peace and malicious damage to properties in which your name featured. You are requested to come along with Comrade Emmanuel Ukwaja for an interview with the Deputy Inspector General of Police Force, uh, Intelligence Department FID through the in, on the side at SPO's room 112, second floor, first headquarter department FID complex, where the address continues. On your arrival, you may wish to call, they have a, a number there. As promised, we will bring you details of the DSS and Najero uh, latest. That's what Vanguard is talking about. But this thing we know, it's all intimidation. What they will do now, the next thing they will start arresting people uh, who are speak, who are speaking up, who are speaking up against the government and all of that. They think they will use arrest to intimidate people. They think they are going to use death or whatever to intimidate people. No problem. If they want to arrest, let them arrest. We all go to the prison. The revolution will come and start in the prison uh, itself. A lot of people they don't even have anything to lose. They are, they, 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 are, they are there. Let's start. Let's start the revolution from there. Let's start the protest from there. Since people do not want to to you know stand stand on their own, own outside. It, it's crazy what is going on in this country and that uh, we're just looking why this whole thing is happening. That's even crazier. Thank you for watching. Bye.